guys, so I'm here today to film kind of, I guess I would call it my winter favorites. I filmed the December favorites and I didn't film a January favorite, so this is kind of like my January and February favorites. Um, in January I got really really sick. I got the flu, so I was kind of like out of commission for an entire week. I didn't leave my bed for six days. Um, and then even after that I still felt horrible, but like I had to get on with my life, so... I didn't have a lot of makeup favorites, so that's why I've kind of combined them together. So I'm gonna start with my two skin, my three skincare favorites. Number one, um, the Elizabeth Hour Eight, the Elizabeth Arden Eight Hour Cream is a lifesaver. I picked this up at Winners, and every night after I clean my face and moisturize, I apply this. I apply it on my eyelids because I always get this really weird dry patch of skin on my eyelid, right in the inner kind of part. And this is kind of the only thing that's gotten rid of it. I applied this on my lips and I applied this around my nose when I was sick and it it prevented it from becoming like super dry and gross. This stuff is so moisturizing. Once a month I also have been applying this all over my face as like a moisture mask at night and it just makes my skin so soft. This stuff is amazing. Um, to go along with that I also have been using my Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. I bought this at the Estee Lauder warehouse sale a long time ago and I never used it. It's only $10. Um, the smell is kind of weird. It smells kind of citrusy, which is what put me off, I think, in the first place. But I've been using it. It is a nice moisture mask. So you can use it twice a week, so I've been using it twice a week in place of my moisturizer. And then putting my Elizabeth Arden on trouble spots over top of that. And I have really been liking that. And then my last skincare favorite has been my Clarisonic. I love this. Cleaning my face just is awesome <laughs> because of this. Um, I've only used this, I got this in kind of the beginning of January, so I've used this for two months. I've just, over the last, I think, two weeks started using this nightly, and I haven't had any adverse skin reactions to it. I mean, I have a blemish here and a blemish here, but I think they're more hormonal than anything. Um, it's just like seeing your Clarisonic brush after you wash your face and seeing all the makeup that's on it just makes you realize how much you miss and I just think this helps it deep clean, clean my skin better. So yeah. Um, and then this month, month, this month, these two months I guess were very much about eyes for me because I have mostly eye favorites. So. I've been loving doing a matte crease with a shimmery color all over the lid. My favorite shimmery all over the lid color is Sin from the Naked Palette, which is this color here. It's this shimmery kind of very light pink color. It's so beautiful. When I got the Naked Palette, I always used Virgin, never really reached for Sin, but I'm obsessed with Sin now. I love, I've been loving Naked in the Crease as well, which is one of my other favorite colors. I just love this palette. It's, I find it strange to me that I love this palette more than the Naked 2 palette considering this is more warm and that's more cool and I love cool toned things, but I don't know. I just love my Naked 1 palette. But from my Naked 2 palette, I've been obsessed with tees. It's like this gorgeous kind of taupey purple color. I've been using that in my creases, like a matte crease, a lot lately and I love the way it looks. So that I've been obsessed with. Um... To go along with that same kind of statement, my Ben Nye um, Glam Shadow Palette is amazing to die for. I love these colors. In particular, I've been obsessed with Smoky Taupe. Um, let's see what else. Oh no, I lied. That's Cobblestone. This is Smoky Taupe. Smoky Taupe, I love. Um, I love this color and this color. This is Brown Berry and this is Eggplant. Um... I just love them all so much. They're just amazing colors, amazing pigmentation. This palette's to die for. Um, I also have been loving um, my Morning Frost paint pot. I, I bought this, again, at the MAC Estee Lauder Warehouse sale. This is from a limited edition collection. It's just this taupey kind of color. This is beautiful all over the lid and just blended into the crease. I used um, a color from the Ben Nye palette into the crease the other day. It was Smoky Taupe. Um, and we just with like winged liner and it looked so beautiful. Love this color. I, oh, I just Sometimes I feel like taupes are too dark and smoky for the lid, but this one is just such a light color that it looks beautiful on. 
And then my last eyeshadow favorite of the month has been Max Satin Taupe. Can you tell that I love taupes? I don't know if you can tell or not. This is what Satin Taupe looks like. You can see how it's much darker than the swatch I showed you of Morning Frost. But I've been loving, I kind of, I always rediscover this every few months in the crease and it just looks so beautiful. So beautiful. Um, and then I have two other eye products that are not eyeshadow. The first one is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. Um, I am indifferent to this mascara, but I do love the way that it can build up product. Um, you saw in my last video I filmed a Get Ready With Me and I put on five coats of this mascara and there was no clumps. Today I'm wearing, I think, four coats of this mascara and it's just like, it doesn't clump. It's so volumizing. I just wish it was a little bit more lengthening, but I mean, that's just my lashes, but I do, I do, I have been loving this mascara. I have like an on-off relationship with this mascara, but I think I love it. Um, and then my last eye favorite is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Mascara, mascara, eyeliner, in, in nude. I know I just recently hauled this, but I've had this since for probably most of February, so I have been loving it. It's a great, great pencil liner for the waterline. It goes on super pigmented. It's so creamy. It is a fantastic product. I do, I want to try the black one, but like, I have so many black eyeliners to finish first that I'm trying to restrain myself. Um, so yeah, I really, really would recommend this if you're looking for something to brighten up kind of the inner... <coughs> the inner waterline. It's so beautiful. Um, I think it was $7.99 at Shoppers Drug Mart. I really like this. I've been trying to train myself to not wear black on the waterline, which as you can see I failed today. Awkward. Um, and then I have two cheek favorites. Um, number one, I was... I am obsessed with this blush. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Blonde. It is just the most perfect kind of pink color. If I blend it onto my hand, hopefully you'll be able to see it. This is what it looks like. It's on my hand here. It doesn't show up, I guess, as dark as I would like it to. But it's just like the perfect everyday kind of shimmery cheek. I don't have a lot of shimmery blushes. I only, but like I love the Mineralize Skin Finishes and the way they look on my skin. They're so beautiful. I'm obsessed with this blush. Now my other blush favorite for this month is Max Pink Cult. This was also part of a limited edition collection. Um, what's interesting about this blush is it looks really kind of neutral and mauve in the pan, but it's it shows up so much different on your skin. Now like even if I swatch it, <clears throat> sorry my throat is disgusting today. It looks like this, but then. If I blend it into the skin, it shows up like a lot different. So this is what it looks like on the skin, if you can see it. It's just like this like dirty mauve color, but it has like some pink to it. It's just, I kind of find it interesting when these blushes like look so light and weird in the pan and then they go on your skin so different. I don't know, I like it a lot. And then I have two lip favorites for the month. Um, number one, again, I just hauled this in my, a recent video, but I have had this for most of February. This is the L'Oreal, I think it's called the Caress Lip Stain in the color Infinite Fuchsia. I adore this. This is just an amazing product. That's what it looks like swatched there. Um, I'll link my haul in the down bar because in my haul, I apply this in three layers you guys can see the kind of difference it makes it's just so awesome it's so glossy it lasts all day and it doesn't dry out my lips fantastic and then for a crazy lip I have been loving max candy yum yum like how can you not love candy yum yum just look at it this is just a neon matte bright pink like the camera's not even doing it justice at all you need to go look at this at the matte counter it's fantastic everybody needs this in their life so that is my winter kind of favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.